Good morning, everybody. Mr. Carricker here with an experiment I highly suggest you try at home. So today we're gonna build a homemade barometer since we're starting our weather unit. A barometer measures the barometric or the atmospheric pressure. So how much air is pushing down on one spot in a certain place. So you're gonna learn in class if you haven't already after watching this video. There's high pressure and low pressure. But enough of that. Let's get to building. So through the power of movie magic, I have some of our materials already cut and ready to go. So let me go through our materials. You're gonna need a jar. This can be an old peanut butter jar, a jelly jar, any sort of jar you have at home. You need a rubber band, a straw, and you wanna take one end of your straw and cut it to a nice little point just like that. So cut it at an angle. And maybe about, uh, about as long as your jar. Then you want a balloon. And what you're gonna do with your balloon is you're gonna take it, and here's your normal balloon, and you're gonna cut it in half. So this part that you blow up, you just take it and you get rid of it. We're gonna keep this part of our balloon. You also need scissors to do all your cutting. And then you're gonna need a pen. And finally, a piece of thick cardstock. So cardstock's a type of paper. Or you can use a thin piece of cardboard, maybe like a cereal box. So, what we're gonna do, zoom out there a little bit. And you also need tape. So any kind of tape will work. We're gonna take our balloon that we cut and we're gonna take it and stretch it over the top of our jar. So what this does is it traps the air inside the jar. So now we have a nice sealed jar. We have a certain pressure of air sealed in that jar. And just to make sure that balloon doesn't come flying off of there, we're gonna take our rubber band and we're gonna stretch it around and hold that balloon in place even more. We're gonna come over here and grab a piece of tape. And then we're gonna take our straw that we cut and we're gonna tape it to the top of our jar. So you want the pointy end sticking out away from the jar. And you can just tape it right in the middle, right on top, that'll work fine. There we go. So, as our air pressure changes around the jar, we're gonna see this balloon is either going to swell and bulge because this air is gonna be at a higher pressure inside the jar and we remember that air wants to go from areas of high pressure to low pressure. Mother Nature wants to keep everything nice and equal, keep it the same. So that high pressure air is gonna try to escape to make the air inside the jar even with the air outside. So when we have a high pressure, we're gonna see our jar move down. So we're gonna have a bulge. And then the opposite's gonna happen for low pressure. So, what we're gonna do is, again, Movie Magic has already taken care of some of this. We're going to mark where the end of our straw is on our paper. And then above this line, we know that if the air pressure outside of the jar is high, it's gonna push down on this because the jar air is lower pressure if the air inside the jar is a higher pressure it's going to want to get out of the jar and escape so it's going to bulge like a bubble and that'll push the straw down so we know that the air outside of the jar is a lower pressure than what is in the jar so again try this at home let me know what you think when you come into class